Shalom. I want to give a praises and a glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Hashem, Bashim, Raka, Akadash, and the oneness to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and Thomas Truth, and peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect. And yeah, man. <clears throat> Literally, as soon as I heard what this devil said, and I knew I had to do a video, man. The gospel must be defended at all, all times and all costs. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm going to play the video. God is gay. God is a lesbian. God is trans. God is gender non-binary. God is straight. God is cisgender. God is black. God is white. God is Middle Eastern. God is Asian. God is differently abled mentally and physically. God is able-bodied. God is you and you are god because you are a reflection of god's divine image yeah what a crazy guy <laughs> and literally <clears throat> this is this is what he is man he's confused like he makes mention <clears throat> where is it again it says to pour together mix mingle to join together and it says, hence frequently to throw into disorder, to trouble, disturb, upset. <clears throat> and it also mentions down here, it says, with reference to mental states. <clears throat> and also down here, um, confused, the, this is the verb. And it says, a mix or mingle things or ideas so as to render the elements indistinguishable. So that's what this guy is. He's literally confused and he's thrown all these things together <clears throat> to create his crazy doctrine, man, which is absolutely madness. And we know what the scriptures say, man. We know what the scriptures say. I just felt author, author of con confusion. <clears throat> Yeah, 1 Corinthians 14 and 33, it says, For God is not the author of confusion. So, look here, hang on. The toolbar's in the way. <clears throat> it says, For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. And the saints isn't everyone. The saints are the Israelites. <clears throat> Psalms 148 and 14 says it also exalteth the horn of his people being the power of his people the praise of all his saints even of the children of Israel a people near unto him praise ye the Lord Yahweh by Hashem HaWashe and that's one thing where he mentions even the children of Israel you gotta remember the Lord has has um <clears throat> the Lord has um their elect and then the rest of Israel so there's the chosen of the chosen so you got the, the normal Israelites and then you got the elect Israelites <clears throat> and yeah man even the two thirds are the saints as well <clears throat> even though they're in a wicked mindset and they're in a heathenistic mindset they're still a part of the saints man <clears throat> yeah and what else was this guy saying oh yeah that's it you know what let me let me go to Jude 1 and 14 <clears throat> and it says and Enoch also sent from Adam prophesied of these saying behold the Lord cometh with 10,000 of his saints to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed and of all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him and isn't this an ungodly sinner look what let's, let's listen to what it says God is gay. God is a lesbian. God is trans. God is gender non-binary. God is straight. God is cisgender. God is black. God is white. God is Middle Eastern. God is Asian. God is differently able mentally and physically. God is able-bodied. God is you and you are God. Because you are a reflection of God's divine image. 
And that isn't talking about everyone. Everyone's not a reflection of the divine God's image. The reflection of Yahweh Shai. It's like a reflection of Yahweh Shai. Shema Yahweh Shai. Uh, the children of Israel, man. His people. Also known as the sons of God. <clears throat> and like it made mention in Jude 1 and 15. It says. To execute judgment upon all and convince all that ungodly among all. All that are ungodly among them of all the ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed, and of all the harsh speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against them. These are murmurous complainers walking after their own lusts. And this guy's walking after his own lust. Add into the scriptures. We know what the scriptures say. Those that I add to this word, man. <clears throat> What was it again? Um, <clears throat> where, where is it? <sighs> yeah, here we go. Revelation 22 and 18. It says, For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And that's, and that's going <laughs> to, he's going to receive of those plagues, man. Because he's adding to the word. Nowhere in the scriptures does it say God is, so, is basically all these nations. Absolutely crazy, man. That's, that's confusion. How, how can, how can the Lord be... A mixture of different nations. How? <clears throat> and all you gotta do is look at his people, <clears throat> and that's that's who the the Lord for the the sons of God, man. Also known as Israelites. <clears throat> like him, it's mentioning um. As it makes mention in um, 1 Chronicles 16 and 13, O oh, ye seed of Israel, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen ones, and even even in Psalms 105 and 6, O oh, ye seed of Abraham, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen. And Psalms 135 and 4, it says, For the Lord hath chosen Jacob unto himself and Israel for his peculiar treasure, and peculiar means special, man. And it says, Isaiah 41 and 8 says, But thou, Israel, art my servant Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. And also, Isaiah 44 and 1, it says, Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. And Isaiah 44 and 2 says, Thus saith the Lord that made thee and formed thee from the womb, which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou, your son, whom I have chosen. <clears throat> So the Lord has a chosen people, man. As like it mentions in Deuteronomy as well. <clears throat> Deuteronomy 7 and 6, it says, For thou art an holy people, and the word holy means separate unto the Lord, Yahweh thy God, meaning thy power. The Lord, Yahweh thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So there you go, man. And that's been the sons of God. As it makes mention in um in Genesis, Jacob um oh, where is it? <clears throat> yeah, Genesis 32 and 27 And he says, And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob But Israel For as a prince has thou power with God and with men And has prevailed And it says um, And literally Prince of prince of the power in the Hebrew is Yasha Allah man The Yah being the He The Shah being prince And Allah meaning power and literally, that was a code name given to <clears throat> the sons of God, man. The Lord was literally calling the Israelites by a new name, as it, as it makes mention. <clears throat> oh, 
And where is it, man? Hmm. Yeah, Isaiah 62 and 2 says, And the Gentiles shall see thy righteousness, and all kings thy glory, and thou shalt be called by a new name which the mouth of the Lord shall name. <clears throat> so, before the falling away, we was known as the sons of God. And when we fell, and when we fell, we were called the 12 tribes of Israel. And like I made mention of the name Israel being a code name. <clears throat> But first, let me get this. <clears throat> first Kings 18 and 31, it says, And Elijah took 12 stones according to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob, unto whom the word of the Lord came, saying, Israel shall be thy name. So not only is Jacob called Israel, but also his, his seed after him were called the 12 tribes of Israel. And like I made mention, Israel being a code name for the sons of God. Because <clears throat> a prince of the power, the prince is a son of a king. So, <clears throat> you could write, you know what, let me write it in here. So, a prince is the son of a king. <clears throat> and literally, a power that also translates to God, or in the Hebrew, Allah, which means power. So, son of the power, son of power, or you could say the son, son of God. <clears throat> That's literally what we're called, man. The the sons of God, but it's it's a code name, as um he's a prince of the power. <clears throat> and like him, it's mentioned in Wisdom of Solomon as well. Into the mist, of the land of destruction. Where's my Solomon? Ah, here we go. It's business of Solomon 18 and 12. It says, So they all together had innumerable dead with one kind of death, neither were the living su sufficient to bury them. For in one moment, the noblest offspring of them was destroyed. <clears throat> and this is going into the time of Egypt, where the Lord sent Yahweh Shai to um, do these plays, man. And it says, so they all together had innumerable dead with one kind of death, neither were the living. I think I just read that. Yeah, I did. And it says, for, for whereas they will not believe anything by reason of the enchantments upon destruction of the firstborn. And we know those magicians, Pharaoh's magicians, were trying to disprove the works of the Lord through Moses. <coughs> not only that, but we also know that the firstborns were visited and destroyed. And it says they acknowledged this people to be the sons of God. And who was that man? Who, who did the Lord bring out of Egypt? The Israelites. He brought the 12 tribes of Israel out of Egypt. They are the sons of God, man. As I mean, as I mean mentioned before, the Lord has given, given the Israelites a new name. It's like okay, he's given the sons of God a new name, which is Yasha Allah, which means he's the prince of the power. And it also translates to son of God or son of the power. So this guy talking about a reflection, uh, God is a reflection of you. Nah, man. Nah, that's only talking about the Israelites because that, that's the Lord's people. And like it makes mention here, man, it sounds 148 and 14, and I've, I know I've already read it, but... <clears throat> I'm going to read it again. It says, He also exalted the horn of his people, being the power of his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. So you see, it says, it says a people near unto him. The Israelites, or the sons of God, are near unto the Lord, man. Why? Because they're his people. And there was another one I wanted to get. Um, What was it again? Oh, see, look, now I forgot, man. It was something along the lines of what he was saying. Let me listen to it again. 
God is gay. God is a lesbian. Oh, yeah, that was it. That was it. That was it. <laughs> Second Thessalonians 2 and 3. It says, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. And like I made mention, the falling away of the sons of God. So when the sons of God fell, <clears throat> that had to happen, man. And we know the falling away happened when we discontinued from our heritage, which is mentioned in Jeremiah 17 and 4. Discontinue. Discontinue. On my heritage. Jeremiah 17 and 4 and says, And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. And even Jeremiah the prophet, man. So imagine the other prophets, they had to discontinue from their heritage too. And it says, That I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knewest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. And yeah, man, the Lord Yahweh is only the God of Israel, man. Job 2 and 27 and it says and ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel being the 12 tribes and that I am the Lord your power and none else and my people shall never be ashamed so you see this Edomite this, this talking a whole bunch of lies man but you gotta remember <clears throat> he's literally of the seed of the wicked and one thing upon this earth to do is deceive which he's doing man the congregation that's listening to him are being deceived by him. But then again, we know what the scriptures say about that. Oh, this is going to be... One problem I have is <laughs> with this word, deceive. I always forget how to spell it, man. Maybe it's um. Oh, here we go. And it says um, Joel twelve and sixteen, and it says with him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his. So, yeah, man. Um, yeah, well, yeah, I was on um, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3. And it says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come a set there, come a fall in away first. Like I mean, mention the falling of the sons of God and forgetting our heritage. And it says, And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, which are the Edomites. Also known as the wicked. And it says, Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, shown himself that he is God. Isn't, isn't that what he was saying? God is a lesbian. To the reflection of God's able mental. God is straight. God is cisgender. God is black. God is white. God is Middle Eastern. God is Asian. God is differently abled mentally and physically. God is able-bodied. God is you, and you are God, because you are a reflection of God's divine image. See, this line for his teeth, he's trying to say now, now that his God, I know these heathen, I know these other nations, they're, they're, they're God too. But no, we already, we already cleared who the, who the chosen people are. The Israelites, the sons of God. Hence why they're called the sons of God. That, that isn't everyone. And you know what, let me get this, man. Because he seems to think that all these other nations are involved too. Nah, man. Nah, you're sadly mistaken. <laughs> Where is it, man? Here we go, here we go. Second Andrew 6 and 54. And it says, And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. And the people also, whom thou hast chosen, being the Israelites, the sons of God, 
all this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. And that's another thing, man. The sons of God are also known as the firstborn. No, that's not it. Maybe it's Israel. Yeah, here we go. Ecclesiastes 36 and 12. It says, O Lord, have mercy upon the people that is called by thy name and upon Israel, whom thou hast named thy firstborn. Why? Because the Israelites are the sons of God and the Israelites were here before. Or should I say the sons of God were here before all these other nations, man. We are the, the firstborn of the Lord. <laughs> so carrying on with... Second hundred six and fifty four it says and after these Adam also whom thou madest, Lord of all thy creatures, of him we we all of him come we all, Salakia, and the people also whom thou, who, whom thou hast chosen. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes, as for the other people which also come of Adam, being the other nations, also known as the heathen, the natural Gentiles, thou hast said that they are nothing but be like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. And now, O Lord, behold these heathen, including Esau, Edom, which has ever been repeated as nothing, have begun to be lords over us, and to devour us. But we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, the only begotten, and thy, fav the, and thy fervent lover, are given into their hands. So you see, as he makes mention, man, the sons of God, the Israelites, are the firstborn of the Lord. So it doesn't even matter what these heathen have to say. <clears throat> Ishmael can't say nothing. The children, of, the children of Ishmael can't say nothing. Moab can't say nothing. Um, the Amorites can't say nothing. Am Amalek can't say nothing. Edom can't say nothing. <clears throat> and these Kushites can't say nothing. These Ethiopians. <laughs> the sons of God are the firstborn of the Lord, man. We're his chosen people, man. We're chosen from the foundation of the earth, man. <sighs> these damn devils, man. And yeah, I was on 2 Thessalonians 2. 2 Thessalonians 2. And for him says, Who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he has God sitting in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. <clears throat> and it says, Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. And it says, and now ye know that what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time being the wicked. And it says, for the mystery of iniquity doeth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. Yeah, when these, the wicked get taken out of power, man, out of rulership. And it says, and then shall the wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, being the prophets, and shall destroy with the brightness of, the brightness of his coming. And yeah, man, an example of that is Jeremiah 49 and 22. Jeremiah 49 and 22, it says, Behold, he shall come up and fly as the eagle and spread his wings over Basra, basically the inhabitants, or, they were, or where the Edomites dwell. And it says, And at that day shall the heart of the mighty men of Edom be as the heart of a woman in her pangs. <coughs> so, yeah, man. <coughs> Carrying on. It says, Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And it says, And for this cause, God shall send them a strong delusion that they shall believe a lie. And so these Edomites can't be saved, man. They can't. <coughs> Hence, why he's saying all this blasphemous stuff. That's why he's saying all this. And I'll play it and then I'll close out, man. God is gay. 
God is a lesbian. God is trans. God is gender non-binary. God is straight. God is cisgender. God is black. God is white. God is Middle Eastern. God is Asian. God is differently abled mentally and physically. God is able-bodied. God is you, and you are God because you are a reflection of God's divine image. So yeah, man, <clears throat> these devils gotta pay for their transgressions. But yeah, I, I hope this was edifying. I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Shem Shai, and Shalom.